the new tonight changes coming to mopeds on Block Island. The new Shoreham Town Council voted tonight to implement new safety measures following a deadly crash there. Iowa News News reporter Anita Buffoni has been tracking the council's several virtual meetings on the issue. She joins us now with more. Anita. After a lengthy discussion, the new Shoreham Town Council voted to reduce the number of mopeds each rental company can rent out and reduce hours of operation for mopeds on Block Island effective immediately. These are difficult decisions that I wish none of us had to make. The new Shoreham Town Council taking action after two deadly crashes on Block Island one week apart. There have been 55 moped crashes this year, the majority happening in the mid to late afternoon, according to the town's rescue officials. We can reduce the number of hours um, and that will just help further the um, safety and health of the island. The council voted to require all mopeds be returned to their operators by 5 p.m. That's three hours earlier than the current 8 p.m. return time. Another measure voted on reducing the number of mopeds each company can rent out from 34 to 25. I want everybody to know, including those operators, that these decisions are never made with malice or ill intent to any personal business or individual. Um, I'm just looking out for uh, the, the safety of my community right now the best that I can. Other actions that were not voted on will be discussed at the next council meeting next week. The council says three out of the five moped operators discussed implementing a wristband system which would be put on the driver. It would indicate to bars and restaurants not to serve alcohol to these individuals driving the moped. One company also proposed hiring a private ambulance service to help respond to accidents. Previously, the council explained the rescue personnel on the island has been reduced to one third because of the pandemic. To help, the Rhode Island State Police will have troopers on the island this weekend and through the summer to crack down on motor vehicle violations. Now, an online petition with more than 3,500 signatures is calling for tougher licensing standards. Any potential changes to those licensing standards, like age requirements, for example, will be discussed at the next town council meeting. I'm Anita Buffoni, Eyewitness News.